All right, hey everybody. This is Mr. Corpus, and this is a, a little lesson for my incoming beginning band members, and also for the sixth graders who are going into seventh grade. What we're gonna do today is I'm gonna make several videos that talk about various kinds of music reading because for this year's sixth graders, the ones going into seventh grade, the first thing you're gonna do is when we get to seventh grade, you're going to take a little quiz about how to read music, how to write music, and all the notes and rhythms. So I wanna give you this chance to review. Parents, this will be awesome for you to help your kids, especially since uh, they're not doing any classwork for band. It'd be really good for them to know how to do all this so that when we get back to school, they're ahead and they don't have to take a bunch of time to catch up. Now, for those who are going in to beginning band, if you're a current fourth or fifth grader uh, and you're coming into fifth or sixth grade band, beginning band next year for 2020 to 2021, this is a chance for you to get a little leg up on the competition because I'll tell you how this works. The way we do it is that, <coughs> excuse me, that first week of school, the people who are able to know all this the fastest, as soon as you can know all of these note names and rhythms, you can get your instrument out. So as long as you don't learn these, you won't have a chance to be able to play in class. So make sure you know these so that when you get to class, you can take that instrument out in that first day and we can just get going, okay? So let's start with real simple stuff, how to read notes and what all the note names are. So. The first thing you have to know is that musicians, you know, of course we have to know math and English and that stuff, but we take stuff a lot easier than everyone else. What we do is we use the first seven letters of the alphabet. So, A, B, C, D, E, F, and finally, G. And then after that, we get to G, what do we do? We repeat it all over again. So we go back to A, just like that, and then continue on, and it goes all the way back around in a circle. So after G, you go back to A, then B, C, D, E, F, G. Now, the way those work is we put them on what we call a staff. And a staff is a group of five lines and four spaces. Count them with me. One, two, three, four, five, and our spaces, one, two, three, four. Now, how notice how I'm always counting from the bottom. So what that means is that when I say the first line, I mean the one on the bottom. The second line is the one right above it. The third line is the one right above that. The fourth line is right above that. And the fifth line is right above that. And then we have one, two, three, four spaces. So five lines and four spaces. Now, the other thing you see on the sheet of paper, guys, is this. This right here, that is called a clef. And there are two types of clefs we use in band. But what a clef does is a clef shows you where these note names are going to go on this staff, okay? So without a clef, we don't know what these lines mean. This line could be A, B, C, D, E, F, or G. Who knows? The clef tells us where everything is. Now, this clef that you see here, this is called the treble clef. T-R-E-B-L-E, -E, treble clef. And the treble clef, the easiest way to know how it works is this little squiggle right here at the bottom of the treble clef looks like a letter G an uppercase G. So G tells you, or excuse me, the treble clef tells you where G is. Look at the line that goes right through the middle of that squiggle on the treble clef. What is that line? That line, you guessed it guys, is G. So see what it's doing is it's telling you where G is. And if you know where G is, you can find everything else. It's like having a map that tells you where your starting point is, okay? So, Let's go down to the bottom here and let's start putting our notes on so we know where everything is, okay? So again, we always start from the bottom. We never start from the top, always from the bottom, okay? And that line that goes right through the middle of the treble clef is G. So let's start there. Let's label that one as G. 
the second line, okay? Now, as we move up, all we have to do is say our alphabet. And you guys are smart. You know your alphabet. You know your alphabet since like kindergarten. So with me, let's say our alphabet. If we start at G, remember what happens, we go back to A again. This is all one big circle. So after G, the space after that is an A. The line after that, what comes after A? You already got it, B. After B, you can use your alphabet, C. After C comes D. After D comes E, and then F, all right? So let's go backwards now. We know that we have F, E, D, C, B, A, G. That means that the space right below G, go backwards in your alphabet, is F. And the space below F, if we go backwards in our alphabet, is E, okay? So... That means that the five lines in Trouble Cliff are E, G, B, D, F. Say that with me one time. Say it together. Parents, you can help along and say it with your kids too. E, G, B, D, F. And those are the lines. Now, the spaces are really easy. F, A, C, E. Remember, we always say them from the bottom. So, spaces again with me, everybody. F, A, C, E. And I've come up with a couple little mnemonic devices to help you remember what these are. They are, for spaces, it's easy. It's face. So, for spaces, you've got a nice little happy face going on. Hopefully happy face. F, A, C, E. For your lines, remember, start at the bottom. We've got every... For E, good, for G, band, for B, does, D-O-E-S, and then fine, F-I-N-E. Every good band does fine. A couple other ways, if you want to remember it like this, every good boy deserves fudge, or every good boy does fine, all right? So the instruments that use treble clef are flute, clarinets, saxophones, trumpets, F horns, and percussion. Now percussion, you're gonna have to learn both clefs, but we'll start with this one. So remember your, your lines starting from the bottom in treble clef are every good band does fine, and the spaces, face, F-A-C-E. And that's for anyone playing flute, clarinet, saxophone, trumpet, horn, or percussion.